Hello and welcome Aquarius. So, um, we're going to get into this. Sorry, I was like looking at my new um, uh, tarot bags I got and they're huge and I love them. So we're going to use, this is your July reading. Um, I've moved back upstairs because the kitchen is back in action. Uh, like being used again, so we're back in the usual spot. I'm going to be using the Mystic Monday, yeah, Mystic Monday's Tarot for you guys. Just felt like using it. I'm going to be using Spirit Animal Oracle by um, Colette Barnley for your energy and for your emotional support. We're going to use the same as before, uh, or the other star sign Shadows and Lights Oracle by Lucy Cavendish. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. So I'm going to scooch us back. If you hear a fan, it's this little fan on. It is so hot in my room. So I have the little pocket fan on. It's a USB one I got. It's great. You just charge it up and off you go. So let's get into it. Um, what is your reading, your energy with the tip? Oh no, actually, we'll do the, ah, we'll do the um, uh, energy reading first heat in here it's just got me off guard I'm like oh. so Aquarius what's happening for you guys in July I'm so excited for this other tarot deck I got it's the first circular one I got and it's the accurate AF tarot cannot wait for it and <laughs> the second edition is coming out so I, I was in I just made it in time for that so worth it it's on Etsy I will link that on my Facebook so what is your energy the moth normally I don't do the read the bottom of the deck one but it's just because these don't tend to jump that much so if the moth spirit surrender now so whatever's happening to you guys you need to start just breaking down and giving in like let it happen like you can't control everything that happens but you need to let the universe just let take the reins for a bit. Now we're going to see the tarot. Uh, these ones are not that great to do the ruffle shuffle because they tend to break the gilding on them. But I'll do it once. Let's see, I've done it. <laughs> these ones tend to jump like so. <laughs> they really want to tell you something. As I was like putting them back together, they're like, we need to speak. And I went, I know. Give me a second. Um, so let's see. What does Aquarius need to know? Four pentacles. So you got, so four cups, not pentacles. Do you hear me? So you guys need to just sit and wait and let it happen. And don't complain about what's going to be happening. So you need to just surrender to this um, manifestation kind of stage in your life. So you need to start um, seeing the bigger picture and just let this change. Like you, if it, like a moth or a butterfly, you go into a cocoon. It doesn't matter what way you turn out at the end, you're still in cocoon stage. So you need just to surrender and let what be to be. So you're doing a lot of um, resting, Aquarius. So let's get into it. I'm gonna do nine cards like before past present future and oh that's jumped and just go from there so we start off in the past with the ace of cups nine of swords i will shift the computer the camera i need to get a tripod for the desk six of pentacles princess of wands or page of wands queen of pentacles Two of Wands. Okay, we do past and present first and then I'll move the camera down. Uh, so in the past, you guys were overflowing with emotional support and kind of, you're just really happy with yourself. Like you, this cup was always full. So this cup was constantly full. You're really happy with that. Uh, but there's something daunting on your mind. So something was, something didn't feel right. Like why is this cup always being filled? So you can't, like you're putting a, it was like in the past, you guys were having this mask on and 
the cup is the mask essentially and let's see what that means we have the four of pentacles in reverse so this cup was always full and always you know refilling itself for some reason and there's something daunting on the back of your mind about it and it didn't help any situation um and with the four of pentacles you were kind of like hoarding it like you were clinging on so much to this happy little nook because you're like nothing can break this but something did something broke and made you so worried and anxious because that's what that card nine of swords means like you're asleep and you're anxious and stuff and then with the six of pentacles it's all about charitable work and you know um giving back to the community and, sh and stuff so even though you're like wow i suffered this i'm not letting anyone else suffer the way i did so this is where you kind of did the surrendering bit you surrendered to this depressing time if that makes sense you surrendered to this in the past you surrendered to okay the universe has this plan for me i can't force it back to the way it was i can't force the water to get back in the cup if that makes sense so now we're in the present down here we have the princess of wands which is the page of wands so good news is coming and you're studying or you're learning something about this i'm going to scooch this down a little bit and we can see that um you were studying really hard and the good news is that maybe you got into a college or something presently or an opportunity came the tower in reverse again there's a lot of like stop mo stop and try and fix it or kind of stuff and you're, you're kind of forcing it to stop it's like you're trying to stop the tower from falling um but the thing is you need to ask yourself is am i hitting the destruct button on something here around my life do i seek out creative needless drama like are you making like everything's going well in your life why are you why are you trying to attract drama into your life why are you trying to bring this tower down with you bringing you're bringing down the tower but you're in it you're not watching it from afar you're in it you're self-destructing yourself here presently but maybe because of what happened in the past so maybe this could i feel like this is also it could mean a family kind of thing like a divorce or something in the past like that kind of emotional scarring is what happened in the past and then you're like well do you know what i i'm gonna just give back to the people who helped me and stuff and like she's very zen there in the past and then presently we have as you said princess of wands page of wands good news came but now you're trying to make it into drama going look at how good i am and kind of rub it in people's faces and then now we see the queen has appeared the queen of pentacles so because of this um good news that came maybe it was a promotion so we can see that it's a promotion because the queen of pentacles came up the queen of pentacles is very homely so maybe a promotion came to buy a new house or something to do with your house or your home and we have the queen of cups now do you see how much you've evolved there so this is showing that this tower didn't really stick around that much even though it's in reverse um we see that you're very content with career and emotions we see it so clearly here and you guys are doing very well presently you have a good promotion you have your cup still there like your cup you're wondering why was the cup still being refilled like forcefully and then you kind of went huh i need to rethink why i keep putting that mask on and then this opportunity came up and you got a promotion but you're trying to bring the drama in with you and you don't need that because we see that you've become you don't really need it because you're emotionally content with everything you've done now we have the two of wands in the present so this shows that your good news came you brought the drama in you got a promotion and you were emotionally satisfied like you're not stressed essentially you're you're very content with your house your home and you you you're learning more about your emotions because this is an elaborator 
not a actual like foundation card as I would put it um and we see that we have the two of wands so a decision has to be made let's see what that decision is three of cups in reverse so this decision in reverse has to do with friendships I feel like it's about cutting people out of your life or getting rid of yeah like you're feeling left out of things because you need to make a decision because all this stuff is probably a private matter and you don't want to bring that into your circle of friends constantly clearly so you have the decision to make to see who was there for you in your darkest time in the past and know who needs to be let go of that okay so right, let's see what's happening that's present so since i do this on the first week of the month this is how july has started off for you this is how the recent past was and i'm going to see what your future is whoa hello the lovers jumped out uh let's see oh that's too many hello you wanted to jump out knife of pentacles in reverse one more oh hello you jumped ten of swords in reverse okay and i will uh pick from that deck as we go so the future shows the lovers came up uh, scooches down again i need to get a tripod with an arm on it so we see that the uh, lovers came up in your future along with a knight of pentacles in reverse and the ten of swords in reverse so let's see so lovers is all about passion and stuff so maybe after you made that decision to cut ties with a toxic relationship in a friendship circle and you carry on with your career you meet someone you could meet someone or you find a passion in that uh we have strength so this shows that you are strong enough now mentally career-wise or financially you know stable you're emotionally stable mentally stable you're able to go in and delve into the dating realm which is nice aquarius that's really nice see you're surrendering to change you're surrendering to the universe taking the reins and you did that which is great this is what you're doing you're letting the universe take the reins here and with the strength card we see that you are so strong now you're not walled up you're just armored up enough to let people in if that makes sense so let's just quickly see the lovers i know the lovers is all about passion and stuff but it can also mean like you made a justifiable choice in a situation there you see you made a justifiable choice here in this in a situation this card advises you that you pick whatever option you feel best aligns with your heart and soul desires. So you knew this this decision to cut, say, I don't know, I cut out Stephanie and Margaret out of my circle. They were just doing my head in, but I'm sticking with the people who mean to me, like Fiona. They're just random names. This is just a random name thing, but it's like that kind of thing. You cut ties with the people who weren't helping you in your hardest time. And you're keeping the people who actually mean a lot to you and actually understand that they were very toxic as well. So we see that you follow your heart's desire. You meant with your gut feeling really here. And this, you, you came out really strong because of it. Now, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles normally means you are offered something by a handsome prince, a handsome guy who's like, here, I have everything you need um here is some i have stable career i have a money flowing and all that but because of this now because you have cut ties with this toxic relationship you've made this the, the gut feeling decision and you feel very strong about it since this guy's in reverse you're overly cautious now of who to let into your life you'd be very cautious about who is good for you and who to let in and all that stuff and we have eight of cups so because you do walk away from this kind of mood set i feel so instead of saying oh i'm really cautious about making friends ever again we see that you guys walk away from this mentality if that makes sense you walk away from that sense of fear 
And then with the Ten of Swords in reverse, um, I don't normally do reverses. This I want to learn, so it's better to learn while we do. You become a bit melodramatic and in denial about this. You're like, oh, I don't, I shouldn't have let Margaret go. She's so good at this kind of advice. But you're being a bit in denial and refusing to let them go. You're refusing to let this decision, like you can see how it's hovering over this card. It's like you're, it's over your mind, like a daunting cloud. And you have the nine of wands. Clearly you become melodramatic and overreact about it, but you're putting a wall up to try and protect yourself from this Aquarius. You're learning to protect yourself thoroughly from this um, from this uh, change in this dramatic sense of um, like just feeling left out and cutting people out of your life. It's really hard to do that. Don't get me wrong, I've been there, you know, like it's really hard to just cut people out who've been there for like decades of your life or since childhood or whatever. I'm just gonna have a look and see what other oracle decks we have to use instead of the shadow and light one. I'm gonna use Rebecca Campbell, of course. I have to use Rebecca Campbell. So I feel like because that was so daunting, I feel like this could be your emotional state then instead. So this is going to be your emotional support and the animal tarot is going to be your energy. Animal tarot, animal oracle. Do you know, like halfway through it I went, oh, I can't use the shadow and light. It's going to be really daunting. Hello. Really daunting and I don't know. It's, it's a good deck, don't get me wrong. It's just going to be very um, harsh on you. So for, I'm going to need a present and future for the energy because they're currently... This is current and going to happen. That's already happened. You knew how you felt. That kind of thing. So with the Princess of Wands and the Tower, you were bringing in drama. Good news came. Things were produced. Like you were going with the flow of the um, universe. And we see that we have Anna, gra uh, Grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations. This is, this is meant to happen. Divine plan. So I don't see the point. I uh, like, uh, it's not saying like, oh, go to church and all that, right? That's not what that card means. It means you're laying down the foundations of how you're going to react to things. You're laying down the foundations of how you're going to react to news in the upcoming month. And we see that because you, as I said, the whole theme of this is that you surrender, sit back and relax and let the universe take the reins. And you do, because this is the divine plan. You were meant to react to the tower and bring in the drama. But the divine plan, our universe plan, is saying, leave it in the past, please. And then to go with the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, we have the inner temple. Devotion, tune into your inner portal and, and your heart. Your heart. You see what I mean? Like the cups, the heart. I love when this deck is brilliant. This oracle deck syncs up so well with readings. Um... So you kind of go, kind of go, this is in my space. I'm in my happy place. Like the, the Queen of Pentacles is very homely and the Queen of Cups is very, you know, emotional, heart on her sleeve, but she's very caring. They're both very caring queens. And with the sense of yourself, Aquarius, uh, you use that time to just fine tune yourself. You don't let that cup be filled up over and over you kind of you don't want to be this nine of swords again. You want to just face it head on, and don't let it um, fester. If that makes sense, your mental health kind of thing. Uh, with the uh, two of wands and the three of cups, we have hello. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into beginning. So with these toxic people, this hard decision of letting people go, like the, it's not just like it's a friend that you've known two months. It could be friends you've known since like primary school and you have to let them go because they're not fulfilling that purpose anymore of being supportive. They're being toxic and vile, if that makes sense. Like they're not nice and they're sucking your energy dry, if that makes sense. 
So this is a new chapter in your life now. It's kind of a time where the energy is showing you need to take this time to work on yourself. And lo and behold, with the lovers and the strength, we see that you were going with your gut feeling, knowing who to cut out of your life and just knowing who was bad for you. And we have boundaries. I love when this syncs up. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? So, as I said before, this is mad, I even said it, you're putting armour on, but a no, not so much that you're, you're a queen of swords kind of thing, like you're closing people off. Enough that you're letting people in to think of dating, if that makes sense. If it's a, that kind of thing. So you you went through with such an emotional month before um, uh, Aquarius. I know you forgot what, your, what sign I was doing there for a second. Um, but you're like, yeah, you need to make those boundaries. And you have the strength to do it. But you have the strength to... Whoa, Jesus. That leapt. Sorry, one second. But you do have the strength to... Um, carry on. In the sense of... Letting people in. Do you know what I mean? Whoa, you really did tilt when I knocked over. Goodness. Um, wow, that's that was scary. <laughs> And then to go with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Cups, we have Council of Light, Divine Orchestration Helpers in the Subtle Realm. So this means like your spirit guides, your loved ones who have passed on, that kind of thing. They're there guiding you through this. They've helped you walk away. Like they helped you walk away from that horrible like feeling of doubt and and feel like, oh my god, I shouldn't have done that. She's been my friend since we were eight. That kind of thing. Like, you know, it's just, it's just, they've been there. Like, no, no, come, come this way. It's fine. They're meant to not be in your life anymore. And lastly, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse, which is your, you're being a bit over dramatic about letting go of that friend or someone cutting those toxic people out of your life. And you're building a wall. So you're carrying on those boundaries and listening to your spirit guides and we're going to see the um, guidance as well with the animal oracle um, oh that's not it. it's two there trust your path if you knew you would be supported what would you do so now you know that you're building this wall and if the people who are still in your life who aren't cut out are still there what would you do if they gave you the support to help you through this like what would you do like what are you going to do do you know it's it's a good that's a good energy or you know, this is your emotional status so you're feeling you're letting the divine take over you're let you're working on yourself that's your like emotional sense of emotional i would say this is like an emotional reading part because you like to see what state of mind you'll be in when these things happen that's how i would say it and it's nice to see what could be coming up in the sense of oh how would i feel about that like i could react you could think you react this way and then you react a different way but it's nice to see what kind of reaction you're going to have so now we're going to go on to your energy which is with the Animal Spirit Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. That one jumped. The Swan. Time to die. Time for a deep dive, and that makes sense. Like with the Tower, you need to dive in a bit deeper here with yourself and find out why were you, why were you? Um, sorry, I've mixed them up. But this was the energy, and these are the emotional sense so this is how you feel sorry this is how you're feeling um it's time to dive deeper and like why did i react why do i want to bring the drama with me like what what's happening there like why do i need to bring that drama then with the inner temple and the two queens there the queen of pentacles and cups we have wolf spirit turn knowledge into wisdom and you're in a temple like come on temples are where you go for guidance and wisdom so you're going there to turn you're turning this knowledge that you've gained of like, wow, I feel great about myself. I don't need to freak out anymore. Um, 
Wow. Uh, sorry, I was like re reading a character and I was like, the fuck? I've never seen that one. It flipped too many flipped ones. But, uh, well, um, so you're in the inner temple, you're working on yourself, you're working on the emotional status of yourself, Aquarius, and the wolf spirit shows you are. Oh, I haven't seen this card before. It's <laughs> what it says next, and I know what's coming up next. And you're turning that knowledge you've learned of how to balance work, your emotional sense, come to this like lovely balanced sense of self presently. And you want to pass that on to people. Next up we have the two of wands and the three of cups in reverse. Where you have to make a really hard decision of who to cut out of your friendship circle who's um, uh, really toxic in your life. Then the birthing of a new age shows that this isn't meant to happen. But the, I would laugh because the animal that came up was the frog. And it says, clear out the clutter. You need, you're need clearing out the clutter. You need a spring clean of your friendship circle here. Because people are obviously not benefiting you. Benefiting you in the sense of they're good for me. They're just benefiting from you. Like I feel superior kind of thing. Don't like that. Now, moving on to the lovers and the strength, we have boundaries. So you are like opening up there enough to let people in, but not so much to just completely go vulnerable. Rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time. So this is a good, so in the future, in the near future of the month of July, this is a good time to have a summer romance kind of thing. I might think it's summer romance, I just say it. Like, it's like... It's a good time to start like dipping your toe back in Aquarius into the dating scene. It's a good time to open up to that. Whoa, hello. Um, to open up a bit more and um, start opening up to the like. Don't be worried about this decision you made. You have the strength. You went with your gut feeling. This you know it's a gut feeling. Go. I'm ready to go dating again. I am so ready. Don't let it pass you by, kind of thing. Okay. Next up we have the Reverse Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. So you are bringing drama in and you are being... You knew when to walk away from this like feeling of guilt. Oh, I feel bad that I've done that. And your, your like uh, loved ones and spirit guides were telling you, let it be, it's fine. And we have the Skunk Spirit. I love this. So know your worth. Like, know your worth. You are not them you're not them you are not um you're not down to their level make make sure you don't come down to their level like you know you'll never be down their level so let's keep going we have the ten of swords in reverse which is where you're being a little bit melodramatic about what's happening in your life hello why is there two stuck together here and we knew that you were making you were defending your mental state because you're like I'm not going back down to this road again and you're defending it you don't want to bring that drama in you don't want it to drag you down hello too many jumped at once there and then we have trust your path so you knew this was this is meant to be this is meant to happen <laughs> that spirit a rebirth is assured so this shows you guys are doing amazingly well your guys are going to do amazingly well in the month of July. We see that this is a new chapter. July is going to be the point of the new chapter era for most signs and Aquarius. So you, you need to, you are surrendering to the universe and you're just sitting by letting it happen. I will leave that there guys and I will see you all next time.